good day today um yeah i just wanted to let you know when i was reading through question one of assignment two uh i can see it's a regex question okay so i've got a tool called ask cody and uh so i thought i'll just type in the question and i'll i'll show you what result it comes up with so i've put this also as part one of however many because i don't know i haven't focused on question one but i know the regex ones are generally a little bit more uh, challenging um yeah so without further ado let me go and show you let's just read through the question here okay so at the top part is all the explanation about you must use CMake, you need to follow certain coding standards, all that stuff, okay? So you go read that part. Question one, write a console application that can be run from the command line using the following forms. And then it's got count, count file, text, count file, text, and file two, file one, file two, count A, B, file one, all of that. If no arguments are provided, then print a message describing what arguments should be included. The application should use, should using regular expressions, which is regex, um, count the number of occurrences of each of the following in the text files given. Okay, so I haven't, uh, I haven't gone beyond this section. I've just used this first section here, and uh, I've opened up my Ask Cody. And I said, hey, uh, ask Cody, need help with a regex console application that can run the following forms from the command line. And then I just copied that count part out. Um, yeah. And so basically what it did was it said to create a console application that can accept various forms of commands from the command line, you can use regular expressions in conjunction with command line arguments. Here's an example code snippet that can help you achieve this. So this code snippet isn't specific to Qt, um, but I'm giving it to you because you can look at it and if you understand coding, you can convert it to Qt a bit better. All right. So it just says using system, system linq, um, text regular expressions, class program, static void main, which is the normal thing. If the argument's length, uh, length is, is equal to zero, then just write out a message that says, please provide at least one of the file names, otherwise return nothing, okay? And then you've got your string command, string join, so it wants to join wherever there's spaces, and then it passes it through to the arguments um, parameter, okay, which is args. And then it's got regex, count regex equals new regex, and then it's got the whole regex string. Same with the regex flag regex. So it's got all of that. And then um, basically it's saying if there's a command line, uh, please go ahead and match the collection according to the flag matches. Um, and then the runs the flag regex in here matches the command line and so it's basically showing you a sort of the thing here okay and then it says with this code you can run different forms of the count command from the command line count this will prompt you to provide at least one file name count file one text this will count the lines in file one text count file text and da -da -da. this will count the lines in both these files and then this will count the lines in both files while also setting the minus A and minus B flags. And then this will count the lines in file one text and set the A, B and C flags. So this is what I've managed to get out of Ask Cody. I don't know how much it is of help to you guys, but I think this regex command is quite uh, important. Um, yeah. Uh, I will try and look at the code, but I'm not promising anything. And that's why I thought, let me just turn to one of my AI tools and ask Cody as one of them. And uh, that's the response I've got. Maybe you can try ChatGPT and say in Qt, I need a Qt console um, asking the same prompt. 
um, and then you can see what results uh, ChatGPT gives you. So thank you for watching. I hope this video has been in some way insightful. Thanks and all the best with CIS 3711. Goodbye.